ready? <laughs> Look here, fellas. The boy who lived has came to die. I take 10 to 15 shots a day, preferably Jack Daniels, drink a six pack of curves on my way to work, wine to mellow me out, tequila to keep me going, tobacco to keep the buzz on, and scotch, well, because it's awesome. Good morning, Mr. Gordon. Good morning, Jackson. Thank you, sir. What in cousin fucking tarnation, Alabama Betty Crock? Ah, I'm about to prank this dumbass. I'm gonna make him think I'm a deer. Watch this shit. You ready? What are you doing? This is damn prank, you idiot! Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs> I've got it all figured out until I find something I didn't figure out. Yeah, but then you'll figure it out. My southern relatives say things like this. Well, did she graduate high school? I told you to pick your clothes up. Oh, bless her heart. Yeah, I worked there about 11 years. Oh, her daughter is the smartest. Well... Dude, what's up with that big old dent and all that blood on the front of your truck? Oh, I hit a guy and his dog as they were crossing the street today. But the good news is he didn't die because I saved him. You saved him? I sure did. Gave him mouth to mouth, chest compressions, everything. Man, that is one lucky guy. Oh no, not the guy, the dog. The guy died. He, he didn't have nobody there to give him CPR. You, you were there. But if I'd have saved the guy, who'd have saved the dog? You brought the dog home? Well, I wasn't gonna leave him leashed up to a dead guy. Ain't that right, Lucky? So, I've got me a booty washing machine, okay? The fancy people like to call it a bidet, but this here ain't no regular bidet, all right? First of all, it's got a night light, so I can see to pee in the dark. That's right, no more peeing in the floor for me at 3 a.m. Oh, and it's also got a blow dryer. That's right, a heated blow dryer. So I can blow dry my booty hole after I've washed it with the heated water that comes out of this thing. And did I mention it's got a remote? That's right, my booty washing machine has a cordless remote. Don't believe me? Watch this. Excuse me, Mr. Billing, my name's Jim from the IRS. From the IRS? So what you want with me? Let's just say we need to have a little talk about your tax refund. Okay, well, come on in the house. Okay, so we have on file that you claimed your two children on your tax refund and you received $10,000. Yeah, that's right. I claimed both my kids. Here's the problem. We don't have anywhere on file where you have ever had children. Don't have on file that I had children? Well, they sitting right there on the couch. Sir, those are dogs. How dare you call my children dogs? Tim, Sarah Beth, you don't listen to this mean old man here. You beautiful in daddy's eyes. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to get up and put your hands behind your back. Are you really gonna arrest a man in front of his kids? Don't make me tase you. Is that a lady out here? Hmm, wonder if she's single. Oh, there she is. Oh, great, she's with another gobbler. That's all right, I just have to take her from him. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I'm uh, just strutting through. Dang, girl, you looking fine today. Ah, oh, the quiet type. I like quiet girls, it's sexy. Is that your man over there with the little beard? You got a problem, man? You wanna say something? I'm strutting all around you, you ain't gonna do nothing. I'll beat you down, son. That ain't good. Hey, douchebag, I heard that you were trying to sleep with my girlfriend. Yeah, that sounds like something I'd do. Oh yeah? 
Well, I'm about to beat you down. Oh, so you want to fight? Heck yeah, I want to fight. Okay. Let's fight. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. What, what are you doing? I'm taking my clothes off because I fight naked. Oh, God. Dude, why do you have an erection? Because fighting gets me excited. Oh, dude, please stop. Every time you move, it bounces. <sighs> oh, yeah? Well, I'm about to hit you with it. I'm about to hit you with this old meat mallet. You ever had a right hook from a man's dang dang before? Come on, let's do this. Dude, I don't want to fight you anymore, okay? You can sleep with my girlfriend. You can marry her. Just leave me alone, man, please. My wife says our marriage is fine, but the love making is a going dry. My interest is up and my britches are down, but there ain't no way she's gonna go downtown. I got me a wood, you see, but ain't nobody touching it but me. Me to a life of ease, taking care of old Red. Right now, he's probably slow dancing with a beach blonde tramp, and she's probably getting through. I'm meeting my buddies out on the lake. We're headed out to a special place. We love back in third grade. I used to sit beside him and knew Johnny's daddy was taking him fishing. Yeah. Coming up to tonight, shining through the trees With my Dixieland delight I walked up to my wife in a Holiday Inn Lounge in 1993 and said, I'm going to get you pregnant and marry you. And she said, you're an idiot. And three months later, she was pregnant and we got married. Now, I don't recommend that kind of courtship. It comes with a lot of heartache. But we didn't know each other. You know, I didn't know what it was like to live with a woman for any length of time. You know, you ever walk up on a cat and it goes... <laughs> Five to seven days out of the month that happens at my house and we don't have a cat. <laughs> but I sympathize after 17 years of marriage or watching it. If I had a spot on my body that just bled for no apparent reason and I had to carry around a wound kit, some gauze pads and neosporin and doctor myself, I might be pissy too. You know? I feel dirty. Sitting in a Chili's trying to order. I'm bleeding. Get me a tea. I'll be back. I wouldn't make it as a woman. It'd take two weeks and I'd just sew my shut. Gone. Zero. Be gone. I'd just be a good helper. I could help you load a toolbox or make you some biscuits. But you'd have to cuddle with the dog. Physically, we're not the same. Not after 17 years, but you know what? I didn't plan on that. I didn't think that far ahead. I didn't think we'd change. I didn't know that at some point our relationship would truly be about love and companionship. And it will be someday. Because we're going to get so disgusted to one another, naked, that we're just going to look at each other and go... We're going to just get dressed and go eat something? I'll see you at the car. You know, but while we're still somewhat attractive to one another, I'd like to do it a little more often. And my wife will say things to me like, well, I wanted to do it the other night, and you didn't. Where was I at? When? When my foot touched your foot. What? When your foot touched my foot, was my foot supposed to tap my wiener on the shoulder? What the hell kind of hint is that? You crawled into bed in them pawpaw pajamas. You look like a boy. You look like a damn boy. I can't get excited when you look like a boy. She has a pouch. After three kids, you have a pouch. You know what I know about that pouch? You can't grab it. And it's hard not to do it in cold weather, isn't it, boys? You get, get into bed with your wife and reach around there. Oh, it's hard not to reach around there and grab that pouch. But when you do, just know, you know. It's like when you grab a woman's pouch, it's like saying, Hey, fatty. What's up there, fat stuff? 
Why don't you run in the kitchen and get you a pop dart there, fatty? <laughs> Women hate that. <laughs> that is a no sex penalty right there. <laughs> Grabbing the pal, the pal. Put your arm above her pouch, because her boobs are down there now. <laughs> your, your best bet is just throw your arm around her shoulder and pat it. God bless you. Good night. I love you. See you in the morning. You know? And there's sex penalty. You know, a woman can hold sex from a man, you know? You ain't getting any. <laughs> we don't have that ability. You know, we can't get pissed off and go, well, I hope you don't mind your vagina being empty for a while. <laughs> that does nothing but evoke laughter. <laughs> and how long do you think it'd last, even if we did say it? Hope you don't mind your vagina being empty for a while. All she'd have to do is go, oh, yeah? <laughs> what do you think about those? Well, hell, I guess we can hold off on that rule for just a little while. <laughs> we don't have that chip. There's got to be compromise in a marriage, you know? There's always temptation. That's going to be with you everywhere. But if you got compromise, you can withstand it. If you don't, you'll run off and just f*** your whole life up. You will. Some people don't know any better, but temptation goes all the way back to when we were kids. Remember when you were little? Mama would take you to the ice cream store and get you a plain cone with one scoop of vanilla. Remember how happy you were? I love vanilla. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> I just love the way kids move around. I love that. I wish we all still did that. You know, get a coffee. <laughs> you know, look at my shoes. They made me run fast. And you're standing there with your little plain cone with a little single scoop of vanilla. And another kid passes you with a big old double scoop of chocolate and Oreos drizzled all over it. What the hell? I want some of that. And that's like marriage. After a while, you're walking with your little single scoop of vanilla that in the beginning you were real happy with. And another guy passes you with a big old double scoop of chocolate. Two M&M's placed perfect. What the hell? I want some of that. And what you don't understand is underneath that double scoop of chocolate's a sour old walnut that'll give you food poison. And might put a wart on you, Packer. Hey, Ed, how do you know if you're a redneck? <laughs> Your car doesn't start, but you want to keep rolling. <laughs> hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. Christmas is right around the corner. And what better gift to give a loved one than the Jackhawk 9000? Available at Walmart. Oh, it's a big old water heifer. You are hung on the dock. I ain't hung on nothing but this big heifer. Nessie is like 10 muscle cars all rolled into one. Good Nessie can't even turn the wheel. I'm talking about... Do sommelier. There's been an abundance of new do flavors out recently, so I'm going to offer my services and let you know what they taste like and any pairings I can recommend. We're going to start with the basics, the ones I don't even have to taste. Uh, we have the regular Mountain Dew. This is kind of the blue jeans of beverages. It goes with everything, any situation. You can always wear it, drink it at a funeral, drink it at a wedding, drink it at a parole hearing. If I go to a restaurant and they don't have Mountain Dew, I don't wanna eat there. Uh, then of course the, the traditional alternative is code RED, which is more of a dessert dew. I would pair this with anything that you would normally drink with milk. Uh, you can just substitute this when you're having a brownie, a piece of pie, some cake, 
Uh, and then last week we have Diet Mountain Dew, which is the official Mountain Dew of stepmoms. Uh, this one pairs best with uh, Camel Crushes and picking your kids up late from school. Okay, first up we've got Livewire. Smells like Dayquil. Um, oh, nice orange flavor. This is definitely a breakfast dew, but, um, but like a hearty breakfast. So this is going to go with pancakes, steak and eggs. Um, after a night of heavy drinking, this is your dew. And next up we have Voltage. Um, blue raspberry and ginseng, which makes me think it's the Mountain Dew equivalent of gas station sex pills. Okay, mm. so this tastes like riding in your aunt's Camaro down the highway while her boyfriend drives over 100 miles per hour. And you can't believe that your life is in the hands of someone with a tattoo of Thumper from Bambi on the back of their neck. All right, now we've got Baja Gold. Um, sounds like a slang term for weed. Smells great, very pineapple-y. Oh, fuck, we're on island time now. Oh yeah, baby. That's like a, a, a bottled Kenny Chesney song. That's good shit, you know. Feet in the sand, Baja Golden Hand. <laughs> yeah. And now we have Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. It smells like the devil's piss, so there's that. Ugh. God damn it! Oh my god! Oh my God, that's a human rights violation. I wouldn't even serve that to Osama bin Laden. Butter, and then I'm gonna get a big old spoonful of garlic, a whole tablespoon of tahini. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Once I get the cow tongue seared, I'm gonna dump in a BL. Well, two beers didn't quite cover it. I thought I had three here, but I must have drank one while I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of salt and, I don't know, maybe a half a taste tablespoon of pepper. All right, there it is, the braise. You can see it start to simmer. So once it starts to simmer, we're just going to cover it and we're going to cook it for probably like three hours. Moo. No. There's the beautiful cow tongue. Let's get this thing out and see what it looks like. Okay, so we got the breastplate off. Now we just take the tail and you just fillet this back and I already got it cut up. But there's a joint down here you got to cut. And once you get through it, you can just fillet the sides of this like so. And just pull all this out. So once you get it all filleted out, this is what you end up with. And you can section it up or debone it or whatever you want. But that's a clean turtle. We'll soak it in salt, salt water for a day or two and cook it up. So I was cleaning the turtle. I was washing my hands and it had leeches all over it. And I got three of them hooked to me. So you got to watch out for that. All right, so here's the clean turtle real quick. Here's the tail, back legs, front legs, and here's the neck. I don't know if you can see the meat, but... Look how white that meat is, and you got dark meat, and there's some fat I need to get rid of, but I'm gonna section this up, and I'm gonna throw it in the frying pan. In my book, there's only three types of milk. Milk, buttermilk, or mommy milk, okay? You pick. Cuz you're a fucking asshole, you said come quick. There's a house party on top of the hill in the next town over, so I floored it on the way here and got a $200 speeding ticket. And I get to the top of the hill, there ain't no fucking house party, there ain't shit. You just brought me here cause it's right across the road from a fucking cemetery and you know zombies are my second biggest fear, right behind pigeons. Those creepy ass birds bob their head forward every time they take a step, it's weird as shit, but zombies are number two. And it's right next to this creepy ass church right out of a horror movie. Look how small that shit is. Who the fuck builds a church like that? It looks like a fucking dollhouse. And it's got that creepy ass fucking red cross. I swear to God, motherfucker, you kick open the doors of that church with a handful of pigeons, I'm gonna run over there and kick you right in the ball sack until you pass out. My car battery died and now it won't start and I'm fucking stuck up here with the zombie people. I fucking hate it here.
They're cute. Look at this. If that ain't curbside service, I don't know what he is. <laughs> She'll kill it, clean it, and bag it, and bring it to you. <laughs>